start this painting off, you're going to need a pencil. And start by drawing a cloud on the side of your paper. This is going to be our tree in our landscape. And to draw the trunk, draw a curved line and some claw-like structures on the bottom and draw a curved line that connects to these claw-like structures. To make a mount the mountains, draw some triangles like so. Make sure that the bottom line of the mountain connects on each one of the triangles that you draw. I am also adding some bushes for some extra greenery, but you don't need to do this. Next, I drew a slanted line from one of the mountains and drew an S-like structure on my paper. I also did this on the other side to make the river. Next, with that slanted line, I just connected it to make another mountain. Once again, make sure that the bottom line of your triangles for your mountains connect with each one of your other triangles. Next, we're going to be drawing the flowers in this landscape. To draw these flowers, it's really easy. Just draw three leaf-like structures together to make these flowers. And make sure you evenly spread them out so it doesn't look too cluttered on your painting. Then next up, grab your pen, because a black pen, because then you're going to start outlining your painting. When I was outlining my painting, I actually forgot to add the sun that is on top of the river. So just make sure you do that when you're penciling in your painting first. And make sure to erase any sort of eraser marks that might be in the way while you're coloring. Now comes the fun part, coloring. So to color, I use this bright yellow for the sun. You can also use markers, crayons, or paint to color this. For the river, I, use, I chose this light blue color, but you can also use a darker blue color. But just make sure that when you're coloring with pencil, you do it in even strokes, that way your painting looks nice and neat. Now I'm using this brown color to color the mountains, but you can also use a gray color. Once again, just make sure that when you're using a colored pencil, you color in even strokes. Now I'm just coloring my bushes in these green, this dark green color. Then I colored the flowers in this pink color, but you can also use purple or even a yellow color if you'd like. And then for the top of the tree, where the leaves are, I also used the same dark green color that I did for the bushes. 
And then for the trunk, I used that same brown color that I used on the mountains. Now off camera quickly, I colored the grass green, this light green color. And then I colored the sky this dark blue color. Once again, you can also use a light blue color or whatever color you'd like. And that's it. Thank you for watching and stay safe.